Tesla at CC Van and Manly from Manly Labs. I got two new limiters to show you guys. First off, we've got a new mu. So it's a new variable mu. It's a hybrid version. So this guy has the T-bar mod permanently installed and is followed by all solid state uh, amplification. Um, everything, attack and release and all that stuff, it all works the same as a variable mu. Uh, we got this really cool new feature called the hip control, which really works on the low level detail and lets the exciting transients through a little bit. So it, it's kind of like a, a, it's pretty exciting kind of control. I want you guys to listen to it and tell us what you think. Um, the meters are really pretty freaking awesome here, as you can see. We also can meter the output level and the amount of gain reduction. So that's that's new versus the old variable mu. Um, what's really cool is this guy is made in the USA for 2,800 bucks retail. That's exciting. The variable mu is like 4,600 bucks. And so while this does not replace a variable mu, it's a new lower cost alternate to a variable mu. So the basic sound is the action of it's pretty much the same as a variable mu. It's a little different sounding with a solid state um, amplifying stage, but that's all right. We're bringing it to you, made in America, of course. Secondly, we've got a brand new update to our ancient L-op limiter. It's a stereo electro-optical limiter, kind of like an L-82A. Um, we've modernized the build of this. You know, it doesn't look like 1991 in there anymore. It looks modern. It's, it flies together in like an hour. And that shaves off so much money in our assembly costs that we can bring this puppy to you now for 2500 bucks retail. It's also got a limit and compressed ratio switch now, and that's brand new for this unit, for the LOP Plus. So this will replace the old LOP. Also made in America. Both these units have our, our newest power supply that we've been using in the core. In the force, it's a switch mode power supply designed by Bruno Putzi's team. It's freaking excellent. All the lines are regulated. They're super quiet, low impedance. It's like they're high voltage. It's high fidelity. It's the new thing. So everything we're building right now, we're trying to incorporate that power supply into. It's really the bee's knees. So all made in the USA. Tubes rule. Thank you. Live from NAM 2016.